Hi everyone, my name is Mark Bates. I'm a metabolic health coach. And this is part of my question and answer series from storage to spillover, the metabolic dysfunction of overstuffed fat cells. I think you'll find this one fascinating. Here's the question. You mentioned that fat cells become overstuffed and inflamed and essentially refuse to accept more fat. Most people think of fat cells as passive storage units, but you're describing them as having agency in the process. What's the specific mechanism that causes a fat cell to switch from accepting fat to rejecting it? And how does this rejection signal cascade through the rest of the body? Well, yeah, that's a great question, and you're absolutely right. To highlight the shift from seeing fat cells, adipocytes, as passive storage tanks to recognizing them as the dynamic endocrine and immune active cells they are. Their refusal to accept more fat isn't metaphorical. It's a measurable cellular defense mechanism against further stress and dysfunction. And here's how it happens, step by step. 1. Adipocyte hypertrophy, the tipping point, that's when the fat cells become too big. When you're in a chronic energy surplus, especially with insulin present, adipocytes grow larger, hypertrophy, reach a physical threshold where they can no longer safely expand. Once hypertrophy ex exceeds a certain limit, the surface area to volume ratio drops, impairing oxygen diff diffusion, meaning that the cell itself is suffering from local hypoxia, not enough oxygen, nutrient and signal exchange breaks down, and insulin receptor function go, uh, breaks down as well. This overexpansion creates metabolic distress signals inside the adipocyte. Inflammation is triggered. As the adipocyte becomes dysfunctional, it activates stress kinases like JNK and IKK beta, right? So this is stress factors. This leads to pro-inflammatory cytokine release, especially TNF-alpha TNF and IL-6 and MCP1. So now you're, you're increasing your inflammation. These cytokines attract macrophages, which surround the dying or stressed fat cells into crown-like structures. Right? And this is important because this is when they start to break down. And where does the fat go? Right back into your bloodstream. These macrophages don't just clean up. They amplify inflammation, promoting insulin resistance within the adipocyte cell. Now remember, you hear me talking a whole lot about how inflammation is bad for you, but it's a natural function, right? When you get sick, the, the fever you're getting is inflammation. It helps with getting rid of the bacteria or the virus, okay? When you cut your finger with paper cut, for example, and it bleeds just a little bit, you're actually getting localized inflammation there. Inflammation is important. It is a natural function. The problem is chronic, constant inflammation that's bad for you. Okay, downregulation of lipoprotein lipase, LPL. Ah, this is sounding familiar to some of you, I think. Fat storage requires the enzyme lipoprotein lipase, LPL, which is upregulated by insulin, but inflamed insulin resistant adipocytes downregulate LPL, reducing their ability to uptake circulating triglycerides, and simultaneously upregulate hormone sensitive lipase, AHSL, increasing fat release, lipolysis, even in the fed state. So the adipocyte shifts from storage mode to spillover mode. Because remember, it's overstuffed. Think of it like a fuel tank that has just got too much fuel in it. It's, it's trying to get rid of some of that excess so it can do its job. It stops importing fat and starts exporting it uncontrollably. And if one fat cell is in, in this state, trust me, all of them are to some degree. You're, you're really having problems at this point. Insulin resistance within the adipocyte, that's the fat cell. The pro-inflammatory state interferes with insulin receptor signaling. It inhibits IRS1 and AKT pathways, prevents GLUT4 translocation, and that's when GLUT4 comes up to the cell wall and allows sugar into, 
sugar and fat in, in sugar into the fat cell and it shuts off normal anabolic storage signaling which is the signals to normally store the fat right without effective insulin action glucose uptake stops so your blood sugar continues to rise and rise and rise which is bad fatty acid esterification is impaired you you can't get rid of fatty acids the fat that's in your body and more free fatty acids FFAs leak into circulation and this is a major sign of uh, metabolic dysfunction systematic spillover lipotoxicity and ectopic fat this adipocyte rejection sends ripple effects throughout your body FFAs flood the bloodstream overwhelming that's free fatty acids right o flood the bloodstream overwhelming muscle liver pancreas and even heart tissue right these guys are not designed to be storing a lot of fat they're working these organs don't specialize in storing fat so they accumulate toxic lipid inter intermediaries like ceramides and DAGs which are which are highly in inflammatory and bad for you this causes mitochondrial dysfunction and insulin resistance in those tissues too so you're you're wrecking the cell mitochondria so it can't produce enough energy and this causes more fat to get into the in the circulation which which does more damage to mitochondrial cells throughout your body it's a cascade right it's a cascade once fat cells hit max capacity and become inflamed they essentially offload their burden to other organs those not designed for it triggering widespread metabolic dysfunction okay adipokines and hormone signals dysfunctional fat cells also shift their adipokine profile they lower adip ad adiponectin anti-inflammatory insulin se sensing this is not good you want this to be higher they increase leptin but with leptin resistance so now you're not responding to the le leptin being released by your gut and you're co constantly staying hungry resistant promotes insulin resistance that goes up it inc increases the pro-inflammatory cytokines right these molecules are act systematically perpetuating inflammation disrupting hunger signaling and worsening insulin resistance you're in a state where you're overfed to begin to begin with excuse me right you ha you're taking in more energy than your body knows how to absorb you have all this excess body energy stored as fat your fat cells are so large that they can't accept anymore so they're, they're spilling it out into your system and you're increasing the substance it's just this constant cascade that builds and builds upon itself right this is not a good case this is not a good thing this is metabolic disease at its at its highest so real quick in summary a fat cell doesn't refuse fat out of choice right it's their purpose is to accept fat which is their function to store excess energy for a time of starvation and need right it loses this capacity and shifts into a protective but harmful mode metabolic stress turns into inflammation which turns into insulin resistance which turns into lipolysis and systematic damage okay this switch is biochemically regulated not just a symptom of excess energy but once your adipocyte pass this threshold they cease being buffers and become drivers of disease so there's a reason why you really need to get your metabolism back under control get your fat under control right and get your body healthy again all right thanks for watching if you have any questions any comments please leave them in, in the appropriate section if you would please like subscribe share this video with someone who might need it and as always if you have an idea we're a community here if there's something you want me to work on leave leave a note and I will look into that for you thank you very much